Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Zero Saga Episode 2. Last time we began the GS quest and I'm already annoyed by it. Mainly because I spent all the time in between last episode and this one playing around with all the little mini games that I get to do today. First one is not at the bakery like I said last time, it is actually at the laundromat. I was reading my guide wrong. So let's just head on in here and we will talk to someone and start mm, probably the least annoying of the little mini quests we will be doing today. Assuming I get to all three of them and I can learn how to walk. Honestly, I'm not drunk and I'm getting frame dipping here, which is weird. Doesn't look like it on my FPS counter, but oh well. Anyway, there's trouble in the attic. Go up there and do something about the mice. Sure, why not? Sorry if I sound kind of defeated with a lot of the DS campaign stuff because I just, I don't care. It, uh, it's, to me, it's the worst type of side quest or mini game. It's the stuff that doesn't add anything that's not fun. It's just tedious. Uh, it's like any of the chocobo stuff in Final Fantasy X. Uh, I'm getting weird slowdown. Hopefully that doesn't come through in the recording. Otherwise, I might have to close off and reopen my program here. Get used to this music because this is what we'll play in a lot of these little mini games. But like I said, yeah, sorry if I sound kind of annoyed by it. I am, but I'll try not to make it too annoying to listen to me just gripe and bitch about shit. So anyway, the idea here is we're supposed to go after the mice. And in order to do that, we need to shoot them with the VT, which have they even explained? Basically, it's the uh, disintegrator plugin with the square button that we've been using all throughout the game. I'm not sure why it has a separate name here, but we have a minute and 30 seconds to take down 10 mice. You can try this as many times as you want. Ready, go. But just go and straight for them. Now, there are some tricks to some of them and some not tricks to others. Come back here. Over here, there should be one down here. No, come back here, no! That one will go up the stairs now. And as soon as he goes up the stairs, the only way to get him is to chase him back down. And he goes down through a little hole here. This is the one. There you go. That one's easy. This one's easy. Wow, I actually got lucky on that one. I have not been keeping track of the mice that I've been slaying. There should be one down in this corner. There we go. Hopefully I've got them all. Now there's two more here. You can kind of see them there. In order to get them, there's a little trick. You gotta hit this, block them from running through the little passageways that we can't get through. And one there. Let's go down here. There might be one other mouse floating around here somewhere. There we go, get you, get you. Oh no, I got them all. Not too hard if you know the tricks and you know where they all are. Yeah, the first time you play the game, you may not even realize you can hit those things, because why would you go up the ladder unless there's a mouse up there? But, you know, whatever. Here we get a secret box, which basically, if you go into your key items, you'll see what it says. It says that, uh, well, Dominic, I think his name is, uh, has some receipts in said box for pet mice, this guy. And if you go down here and talk to her, we've completed the quest. So all we have to do is talk to you and we will get our just rewards. So will the little kid, I would guess, too. Success. I don't think you can fail that one. Anyway, we get a reward. We get secret key number six, which opens level two, class D skill. I won't be kind of showing these off as I'm going. I will show them off when I decide to put points into them and get those skills. Yeah, he's going to get a good scolding for that one. With that said, that's all we can do here in the Kukai Foundation for now. So I will meet you back on Second Milsha. We will go back to the hospital and talk to the guy that uh, sent us with all the letters that sent us to the Kukai Foundation in the first place. Again, he is in the hospital. And we're back in the hospital. Not that that's, you know, where I would like to be, but uh, let's talk to the... No, 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 wrong one. I want to talk to this guy. I already talked to you. Let's talk to you. There we go. Wrong person. So many people we have to talk to. Look at all the letters. 
And we have done it successfully. Nice. It's a good idea while doing these to make sure you're making multiple saves. I am. Uh, just in case you screw something up. I haven't had that happen to me yet this time. But I think I screwed something up in my uh, test run. Uh, but of course, since I had all the backup saves, I was able to fix it. Get another secret key there, which will be helpful. Now, I'm not going to edit this out because the, on the way to backtrack to the next thing, we're going to find another thing and do more things with things and take a nap. Pretty much. Anyway, let us move on here. First one we want to talk to should be you, I believe. There we go. Weird lady took the teddy bear that daddy gave me. Well, that's weird. Okay. We're about to meet somebody we... Well, we'll meet a whole bunch of times throughout these quests. Went to the next sector. Well, isn't that just great of her? Fast forward. Yes, everything around here just takes forever, so I will be doing a little bit of this on screen. Not too much. Turn right here. And see. The ultimate master thief is not Bunny, but Bonnie. Okay. Is there a Family Guy reference I can make in here? I guess she's not doing a lot of running, and well, neither is her, her husband, so... I don't know. Uh, so why are we having very slow sequences if the Im implication is that we're supposed to be chasing her? Shouldn't we just kind of see her on screen and see her yelling things out as we're chasing her? Eh. Either way, just keep going right, and eventually you will encounter her somewhere down here, I believe. Um, okay... I don't have words. What is going on with this stuff? Anyway, pick this up. Teddy bear, we can go do that. Or we can start another quest. Yeah, there's a lot of this in this, uh, doing these quests where it's like, oh, you can get partway to doing this and then you can go do something else. I'm just doing it this way so that there's less backtracking that I have to do off screen. Uh, hopefully I have enough time to prep what I'm doing for certain uh, quests before the episode even begins, but sometimes I use those breaks uh, in order to remember how to do certain things. In this case, I've already done this one off screen before the episode began, so I should know what I'm doing. And most importantly for this one, I have a map. But yeah, the entire point of this one is we're doing his job for him because he's too inept to do it. Which is kind of sad, considering he has a whole team of guys that work with him, including another one to the left of the screen there. And one down here. Told you, you better get used to this music. So, we talked to this guy. There are 84 water conditioning nanomachine dispensers, and several of them have gone haywire. You need to stop. At, uh, supposed to self destruct when the life cycle ends, but since they didn't, I want you to destroy the broken ones. No, I don't want a more detailed this explanation. I just want to go do it. You can't tell just by looking at them. You have to go to the eight consoles and then activate the consoles and figure out from there. Green light means normal, and a red light shows that it's busted. I will show off one of these, and then I will use the map in the official strategy guide. Surprisingly, yes, the official strategy guide was actually useful for this game. Basically, you go here, you can check all the different areas for the different things, and it just lights up the ones. But it doesn't give you enough time to really, you know, remember what's going on. So I have a map here, uh, assuming I flipped to the appropriate page, which I should have been on at the start of this, but I didn't because reasons. One second, there we go. There's my map. Now, just kind of follow along with what I do uh, as we go through here. And here we want to do the first four on the left. And after each one, you get this option and you can't press square to go through it. So you have to move your hand between square and circle a whole bunch of times. If you screw up, it's not going to be fun for you, especially after you've gotten to a certain point. So, uh, 
pass forward because there's a lot of backtracking in here. And here we want to do the ones on the left. Just don't be, you know, be patient when you're doing this because chances are your curse is going to go to the one you don't want to first and foremost. So both of these two. And just the top one. The other one is fine. Just leave that one alone. More backtracking. Basically, uh, there are some quests that you spend a lot of time doing. Uh, this one takes a reasonable amount of time. You want to do the two in the middle up front. And then all four in the back row. The thing is, some of them we come back to multiple times, like I was uh, kind of saying. And this is one that we come back to multiple times, and it's never fun. It's always tedious. It's always running around. It's always checking maps. It's always doing things you'd rather not be doing. All four of these go. And there should be two up here that go. Uh, can we get through up here? We can. Okay, so all but the two in the left corner go. So kill these two, and then the four to the right there. So don't kill that one. Kill these three. There we go. I don't know if that target destroyed comes up if you destroy the right one. I haven't done it in a long time, and I don't plan on doing it today because I've already destroyed way too many of them, and that would mean a lot more that I would have to do off screen. And I'd rather not be in the waterworks doing their job for them as is. So I think I want to go down here, and I want to destroy the two ones up front here. Not a whole lot of interesting stuff to commentate on um, in this kind of an area. But uh, the most interesting thing I've done lately isn't much more interesting. I did spring cleaning. I know that's not very interesting, but it kind of gives you an idea of how interesting my life is at times. Spring cleaning time, got to do some of it. Can't just abandon that all. So the two front ones on the left-hand side we want to leave alone. And the four on the back can all go bye bye. Go. Make sure you target at the right one. I just run right up to them instead of using the R buttons to try to control things. These two here are in good shape. Just leave those alone. Now, here, we want to do this one. Two. Three. And then we want to do that one, that one, that one, that one, and then the bottom two. There we go. Leave the other ones intact. And I need to go up there after, so let's go here. Here we do the uh, spotted one where we do that one. And then we do that one. And then we do the middle one. And let's see, up here we do that one. And turn on fast forward again, and we'll go up here. All the way to the top, and we blow up that one. Yeah, you can see how long this area takes to traverse without fast forward, and if you don't know what you're doing, how many times you're going back and forth between different places. Uh, here we want to do this one, this one, and that one, and that's it. All done. Yeah, this is a lot more time consuming if you have to go back to those computers to check all the time. Without a map, it's just abysmal. It's very helpful having a map, and I, I don't actually own the official strategy guide for this. I'm actually borrowing it from a buddy, but... Uh, very useful to have during my test run. I did not have it. That's how I know uh, <laughs> how annoying it is to do without. So either follow along. For whatever reason, I haven't found a uh, a map of this online. If you're interested in me posting one, I'll take a, a script, like a, a photo of the the guide or whatever, and post that for you guys. If you're interested, that's entirely up to you guys. All the buggy ones. Thank you. We really owe you. Could you do your job next time, please?
No, probably not. I'll probably be forced to help you two or three more times. Secret key 11. Meh, maybe later. It's only your imagination that there's more stuff to do that you haven't done yet. And just some backtracking here. Now we... No. We need to talk to the lady over here. No. There we go. That one's faster. There we go. Sorry if you don't like me using fast forward. Uh, there will be parts of the game that I must fast forward. It's just too time consuming to be running places. Or I could just edit things out. But some of them, like if I'm on a roll commentary wise, I'll just kind of leave it. And here we're happy with the fact that she got her teddy bear back. We can now use double attack elemental nocturne for Junior and Chaos. Um, double techs I won't be using, like I said uh, previously when we had access to them. They're just not a lot of situations that make it useful to have. Oh, by the way, um, I didn't even mention this. After the cutscene in the uh, thing or in the cafe, there we have access to four characters. Go figure. Anyway, I got more stuff to get. Let's get more stuff. Uh, that one's gonna take a while. That one's gonna take a while. These are all gonna take a while. Now, yeah, well, let's go in here. I might do some shorter episodes to try and focus around certain quests so that I don't spend a lot of time just running around in circles. Uh, so hopefully there uh, shouldn't be too bad. Some of these you have to destroy just to get through to talk to this guy. Okay. Anyway. So basically what we need to do here is we need to put posters up around all over the city. And that means both sectors, both screens of the town. Uh, there are 20 to put up in total and some of them are really tedious to do. I'm actually going to do this next time. I just want to show off one quick thing here uh, in the GS campaign. Oop, excuse me, you go into your menu. If you notice now, we have both Segment F and GS Campaign, and I'm not sure if that was there before, but it is now. Go into the GS path. Now, there are citizen profiles here, which tells you little bits about some of these characters that we've encountered. I have absolutely no interest in going here, and I will not be coming in here again. If you guys are interested in this, at the end of the LP, You'll have to uh, remind me, and I will just throw on screens of this as I go through all of the people, because I have no interest in it, so I'm not going to come back here myself. Anyway, here we have a little honeycomb set up for uh, the GS campaign. I will come back in here every once in a while, because if you notice down at the bottom uh, there, the text, it shows the level of progression you have through gray like number seven there is in progress blue is success red is failed red is bad we do not want to do that you can also press the circle button on there and if you press circle again you learn some interesting stuff i guess about these characters that are just minor characters that have no bearing on the plot or our own characters so i have no interest in much of what they're doing but yeah you press circle button to open a little mail talk to uh, the bunny there i guess and yeah it just shows you if you completed them or not number seven this one is the one we just started so we haven't finished this one yet but most of them i'll be finishing as we get them some of them i won't be able to but uh we'll get to those when we get to those now that's pretty much all I'm going to do with that for today. Next time we'll go through that and I have, I think, one or two other uh, quests that I can do and then we can actually move on with the plot. Not too bad so far. I've been able to cut out a lot of the stuff that uh, I wanted to, so that's good. And yeah, I will see you guys next time for putting up posters. Sounds like fun. And uh, then we're going to go and get ourselves shocked. Literally. That's all for this one. And I'll see you guys next time.